here we're just going to get into our first problem and I'm going to show you how these things are written down. If somebody said here is a sequence and the elements of this sequence is given by 3n plus 2. What this means is that every element or every, you know, every number of the sequence is, so for instance there's an a sub 1, that's the first element, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, whatever. For, to find each element all you do is you just plug in the uh, number. So this is very much like a function, you know? You put a number in, you get a number out. So this is just a, a quick way of keeping track of, the, of the, the elements in the sequence, okay? So if you were going to write down, if the problem said write down the elements of this sequence, then all you would do is you would say, okay, for n is equal to 1, which is the first element, uh, which is uh, just a sub 1, it's just going to be equal to 3 times 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3 plus 2 is 5. So a sub 1 is 5. That's the first element. That would be the first element in the sequence. And in uh, sub uh, 2, let's say the problem said write the first five uh, terms of the sequence, would be a sub 2, which is just simply 3 times 2 plus 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So the second one is 8. And the third one is uh, a sub 3, which is 3 times 3 plus 2. So you have 9, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2, which is 11, okay? And n equals 4. It's going to be a sub 4. 3 times 4 plus 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And since the problem said, what are the first five elements of the sequence, then you would just say, okay, well, it's, now it's 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So you see it's, it's not rocket science here, it's just there's a, a little relation that tells you what the number is of the sequence and uh, you plug in what number you want, number the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the tenth one, whatever, and you get out the, um, the element of the sequence. And if you were just put these in curly braces um, as the, uh, the elements there, that would be the sequence. It's just a sequence of numbers is all it is. Okay, so let's do another quick one like this because we're just getting some practice here. Here's another sequence. If you wanted to write the first five terms of this sequence, 3 to the nth. So again, you're just defining what the terms of the sequence are. So if you're going to find a sub 1 for the first element, it's going to be equal to 3 to the first power, which is equal to 3. a sub 2 is equal to 3 to the second power, which is 3 times 3 is 9. a sub 3 is equal to 3 to the third power, which is 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. a to the fourth power is 3 to the fourth power. Uh, sorry, a, uh, a sub 4, the fourth element, is 3 to the fourth power, which is, and you can do this in your calculator, 81. And then the fifth term in the sequence is just going to be 3 to the fifth power. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if you do that in your calculator, you'll get 243. So anytime you're given a a uh, relation that describes the sequence and it says tell me what the first five numbers in the sequence are it's really easy you just put one two three four five in and you get the first five or the first ten or however many you want